Welcome to the secret Munich location where we're building the World Cup. So here we've got the, um, the 12 containers. As we see, each doorway there is a container. You can see the air conditioning going in. And as we go down the row, it's quite a walk. We've got Fortaleza. We've then got Natal. Belo Horizonte. Obviously Rio de Janeiro, where the final is going to be done. So that's the one going to the Maracanã, the Brazilian home of football. In this part of the tent, basically, we've got a representation of the nine rooms we're putting into each of the venues. So there are 12 sets of these nine rooms. They're laid out actually in the building locations that they're going to be into, so effectively this represents one area. We've got the chief engineer's desk here, we've got the main camera area, so camera control engineers, shaders and those guys. Specialist cameras here, and then in, in the venue there'll be a wall here, and this would then be main production. So here we've got the main production area, at the front there we've got the, the main mixer, and that's where the main match producers will sit and produce the World Cup from. We've then got, alongside that, we've got the main audio desks and the main audio position, so be able to do our 5.1 surround sound mode here. Then we come down here, this, this vast space down here is, is one room at each of the venues, and this is the EVS farm, so basically this is where all the operators for the EVSs will sit, and they'll basically produce, on this side, they'll be capturing the, the footage coming off the cameras and capturing the, the clips that are really going to show you know, the emotion of the match or the action of the match. On this side down here, we've got those producers, so we have a sub-producer producing the feed, which is emotion, the feed, which is action. And we've then got the, the big area of multi-feed, so this is the way if I'm a broadcaster I can get access to ISOs of particular cameras that I'm interested in. Maybe if you know, Germany are playing I want the German, uh, the German bench because I want to watch those and this is how I get that feedback to myself. And then the final area here is we've got um, infotainment. Infotainment is like a sub-program that's made and it's predominantly one of the feeds that goes into the internet and is used for that type of stuff. So effectively, you've got your main broadcast feed going operation and main production and you've got a sub-feed going on here. Looking inside the container now, basically it's a whole set of racks. The camera chains are going to be moving with the crews, so hence they're not, not in yet, but the cables are all ride, it's all tested. We then follow on down the container here, we've then got the router itself. We then come through the networking area, main sort of signal generation, SPGs and timecode and that, and into the um, slow-mo replay, which basically is coming from EVS and is an EVS server farm. If we then look at the position here, this is the, the TUMS position, or technical unit manager's position. Basically, he's in charge of making sure when we're on the venue that, that the systems are working, and one of the things we've worked on this year, instead of having router panels throughout the system, right, we've actually got, we're using touchscreen systems. So here we've got a, a VIO TAP20, which effectively is a massive touchscreen, and it's replacing the, the router panels. Out here we've got all of the equipment which is going into those rooms, so all of the monitors, the monitor stacks, the desks, all of the transportation of the desks and monitor stacks, and then all of the equipment which goes into those containers itself. Um, and because it's 12 containers, 12 venues, then it's a vast amount of equipment. 